This is where we left off in our last video. We learned what point measures were. And we saw that with this formula, we could get outer measures from pre-measures. And that was great because we know how to get measures from outer measures. So now, essentially, we know how to get measures from pre-measures. But what did we gain with all this? I told you that we were going to see now that mu star measurable sets for mu star, the outer measure defined this way, were very simple. Let's see what I meant by this. What I meant is that we have this theorem. It says we have a pre-measure defined on some algebra A and mu star defined like we saw. So for A as said in parts of X, we define its outer measure as the sum of the pre-measures of the sets that cover the set A. But what's important about this way of defining the outer measure is that we have these two properties. First of all, the restriction of mu star to the algebra A is the same pre-measure, which makes sense because any object in the pre-measure can be covered by itself, and so we would have here that that set alone would be the infimum. So you have to prove that, but it's not so complicated. The important part is this second one, because the second thing this theorem is telling us is that every set in the algebra A is mu star measurable. So if I grab the sigma algebra M of mu star measurable sets, then I can say that the elements in my algebra are contained in M. So all the elements in my algebra are mu star measurable. And so when we take mu star defined this way and restrict it to the sigma algebra M using Karachudari's theorem, we know that this restriction is mu, a complete measure. And now we know that the algebra A that defined my pre-measure is a subset of M. So I already know a huge part of M. And it's very easy to work with this new measure mu. And I know the problem now is how do I find pre-measures? But you will see later on when we talk about Borel measures, that pre-measures are not actually so complicated, at least they aren't in the real numbers, which is where we're now going to focus. If you're enjoying the reproduction list so far, I recommend you check out our Patreon page. We have amazing stickers, t-shirts, mugs, and a lot of things for those of you who support us on Patreon.